work uh, about myself. I'm just constantly kind of reaching towards understanding like how other people are and how I fit in with that. Um, I know that's pretty esoteric. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Um, I, I, I... I feel like I can relate to a lot of what, what you're saying. Um, one thing I cannot relate to because I don't have nearly the amount of work that you have published. One thing I cannot relate to is in 2022, your book losing the girl was banned by the school board in Katy, Texas. Um, my, I can't stand it. Like my wife and I like deliberately buy books because they were banned. It's like, I wouldn't have bought this before, but I'm buying it. Now. Oh. Um, uh, so I, and, and I think anyone who's not personally banning books is outraged by that. But what is it like being on the receiving end of that? Well, Matt, it sucks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much all you have to say. Um, I, it, you know, it's it's interesting um, because I think most people who get banned don't know. Like their books get banned, they'll never find out. Um, oh yeah, good point. I was super lucky in that the LA Times picked it up. That's how I found out. Was someone read an LA oh. Times article um, and said, "Did you know your book was banned in Texas?" And I'm from Texas, so that super bummed me out even more. I'm like, "Oh, great." Um, <laughs> I feel like I would be outraged. I, I feel like I, I would be swearing mad. right at people. Like I, was, I would get them on the phone and let them have it, but I don't it know was, if that's healthy. I, well, I did. I, I got oh. on TikTok and I I made like an angry message to the woman who banned me. Um, the, it was one lady who was about my age uh, who decided that my book and one other book were not fit for that school district. And, um, you know, this was right kind of in the middle of the pandemic or out right out of it, depending on who you were. But like, I uh, had, like most people suffered a lot of mental problems during the pandemic. Um, and also my, my career kind of tanked around that time. And at that time, at the very moment that happened, I thought I was done in comics. Like, I'm like, what am I gonna do? It was a really dark point when that happened. And then it was sort of insult to injury. I'm like, oh, great. Now on top of me having to figure out a new career, um, now, now, like, they're not even going to sell my books. Um, and I think I just found out that a lot of my books were no longer in, in print anymore, which I hadn't been told about. Hmm. Um, and it was because a bookseller, I think it was Silver Sprocket, was trying to order them. And they're like, did you know that we can't order your books? And I'm like, what? Uh so yeah, I was super bummed when that happened. And then I found out I was banned. And uh, amazingly, because the LA Times picked it up and suddenly I was a banned author, um, all my books went back into print. So it actually helped me out. Okay. The like, but that, again, I was really lucky. And I guarantee that 99% of all banned authors will never know about it. They'll just like their, their careers will just kind of quietly disappear or their books will just not go back into print. I mean, lucky. It's all about luck. So, I mean, I'm, like I said, anyone not personally banning books should be outraged by it. And I think some people are happy about it though. Like I, really? I definitely see people even in the, I, I'm in this progressive neighborhood group on Facebook and even so, like you see people complaining, like I saw a swear word in, in a graphic novel that my kid brought home. And I'm just I like, yeah. I, they're, they're like, should this even be on shelves? I'm like, and I look and I have the graphic novel on my shelf. Um, you can see my my bookshelves here. I uh, know, um, I was checking it out. That's pretty <laughs> epic. That is great. This is my dream bookshelf. Yeah. Uh, so I put a... pictures of mine on Instagram all the time. I'm so proud. <laughs> Yeah, so it's 50 years of book collecting here. Um, but yeah, it was a Mari Kotomaki book. And I look at the the scene and I'm like, oh, so this this girl's getting catcalled and she swears at them. I don't think she even swears hard. And, and like that's offensive to you as a parent, not that this actually happens to kids. And so they're, you know, not that 
graphic novels or any books should model how like behavior. I don't think that's how it should be. I think it should you should have all sorts of behavior, like realistic and whatever. But like this was actually kind of a good modeling behavior where you're kind of fighting back against a cat collar and that's somehow offensive. I say let's have the conversation instead of outright banning books and deciding yeah. of, for everyone what should and shouldn't exist, right? Exactly. Uh, it's ridiculous. Yeah, why should she get to say what everyone else's kid reads or has access to? But you know, I was really proud of my neighborhood at that point because everyone just piled onto that. There you go. Nice. That B. <laughs> my, my, my mom made me take back Alan Moore's Batman the Killing Joke. Oh, I remember that one. I, that uh, was one of the few comics I did read. I was in uh, junior high. Wait, was that the out. one with the Arkham Asylum or was that something else? It's the one where he, he escapes and takes over like a uh, abandoned uh, carnival. Okay. He kidnaps Commissioner Gordon. It's 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 very violent. and gra My mom was probably right not to let me read it. And she was cool about like taking it back to see if I could mm. get my money back or trade it in. The the guy behind the counter took pity on me and let me go home with like a hundred bucks in back issues. Oh, yeah. He kept. Wait, how saying, old were you? I was in seventh grade. I was reading Stephen King then. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, there was a lot of like I was smoking cigarettes. Like, there's a lot yeah, of stuff my mom wasn't aware of. Yeah, it was. <laughs> so she was just trying to do the cool thing, but um, you know, <laughs> you can only do so much as a parent, I guess.